Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work because I have an interesting little math word problem here for you. Matter of fact, let me go and read the problem. It is the following. Ken paid $40.30 at the store. He gave four equal bills and six equal coins to the cashier. What were the bills and coins? All right, so that's the problem. Feel free to use a calculator. And if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to go through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so before I show you the answer, let's just kind of quickly go through the question again. So Ken uh, paid this much money at the store. He gave four equal bills and six equal coins. What were those bills and coins? Well, let's go and see the answer. He gave four $10 bills, and then he gave five nickels, which are, of course, coins. Now, I'm uh, uh, hopeful that most of you out there got this uh, problem right. This is not that difficult. If you didn't get it right, it's maybe because you didn't understand uh, exactly what bills and coins were all about. No big deal. We're going to review this problem in a second. But if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+. Plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in money management. In other words, you are so good at math that you are great at managing money. And uh, they may not be that impressed. They'll be like, well, here, here is uh, my piggy bank. Why don't you just manage that? But uh, anyways, all jokes aside, let's go ahead and get into this problem. And um, anytime we're dealing with a money problem, we need to understand uh, the different terminology that goes along with it, right? So Ken paid this amount of money, and the question's asking about bills and coins. So uh, anytime you're dealing with a math word problem, by the way, you always want to use the rule of three, which is to read the problem at least three times so you can fully understand what's going on and understand the question. But uh, we won't really be able to uh, we won't be able to understand this question unless we're clear about bills and coins. Now, of course, we are talking about uh, 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 currency in the United States, dollar bills, but hopefully most people are uh, familiar with it. But let's just quickly review uh, our options here that Ken could have paid with, right? So he's uh, paying with bills and coins. So just a quick review. Most people probably know this, but if you're not familiar with U.S. currency, and you're watching this video from someplace else, let me go ahead and just show you some of the options that Ken could have paid with. All right, so a bill is a piece of paper like so. That's a, uh, really, I, mean, I could do a little bit better than that. And in the United States, uh, we usually have like a picture of a president. And so uh, this is a bill. So we have a $1 bill. We have other bills, but these are the most common. So we have a $1 bill, uh, which of course is a dollar. Then you have a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, $50 bill, $100 bill. And there are other bills as well, but these are the most common. All right, how about coins? Well, a coin obviously is a round thing with uh, silver or whatever the case is, nickel. Now, um, coins uh, can, in the United States, can be one cent, okay, which of course would be a penny. And then we have five cents, which is a nickel. Then we have a dime, okay, which is of course 10 cents. And then 25 cents is a quarter. Okay, so these are pretty much the options that we have or uh, Ken has uh, to pay this $40.30. So the question is, again, he uh, uh, gave the cashier four equal bills, okay? So in other words, he didn't give uh, like a $20 and then uh, some, uh, $5 and then some $1 bills, four equal bills and six equal coins. Okay, so hopefully most of you are saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is really, really easy, but uh, let's go ahead and proceed just in case some of you out there are a little bit confused. Okay, so here is the problem again. And now that we're uh, clear about the question and what bills are and what coins are, what we need to do is just kind of reason through. How can we figure this out? Well, this $40.30, okay, uh, we need to kind of break it up in its uh, uh, bills and coins apart. All right. So in other words, 
$40. This part right here is, this is how much he's gonna pay with the bills, okay? Now, anything under $1, okay, is gonna be after the decimal point. So in other words, let's suppose I have a $1.75, okay? This is a $1 bill, okay? Let's suppose you're gonna pay with a dollar bill and coins, okay? Here, this is your coins, right? This is your change, so you can't pay with a dollar bill. Now, of course, you could and you get change back, but the bottom line is this part right here is less than a dollar, so we use coins to pay for values uh, under a dollar. Now, obviously, again, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I could still pay with a dollar. Yes, yes, but you'll get back change. That's what I am trying to uh, state here, and hopefully I'm not confusing anybody. All right, but uh, this $40.30, uh, the $4 is the part he will pay with the bills, and the 30 cents, okay, this right here, this is the change, right? So this would be the part he will pay with the coins. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the uh, $40 part of this, right? So if he paid with four equal bills, well, how do we figure this out? Yeah, pretty straightforward, right? Just take the $40 divided by four, and of course we end up with 10, so he paid with $10 bills, so that definitely makes sense. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much the, uh, the strategy in order to answer this next part, but uh, let's go ahead and take the next step, and that of course is to listen uh, for me to kind of blab here for a quick second. All right, this is really, really important. First of all, if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. This really helps me. It's a great way to support my channel, but it helps me help others. My channel is all about finding people that want to learn math, who need help in math, or just interested in mathematics. And when you subscribe, it really does help that algorithm out. So thank you so much. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. But uh, I'm really excited to announce, and um, this announcement I do maybe once a year, okay, if that. I am having right now for the next week, okay, up until this date right here, November 10th, which is the next uh, next Friday. Uh, in terms of uh, when I'm posting this video, 50% off my main courses. This is my big primary instruction. So these are uh, pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. This is like my best, most comprehensive math instruction, okay? All these courses have taken me years to uh, build, and they've been out for a long time. A lot of people have successfully used them in different venues, public school students, homeschooling uh, students, college students, et cetera, et cetera. But if you really want to learn math from me, this is the best way to do it. So uh, I'm going to leave the details uh, to this great offer. You'll never see my courses discounted uh, at this level, but I'm going to do it for one week just to show my appreciation for those of you that do watch my content. I love teaching. Obviously, I do a lot on YouTube, but uh, you know, YouTube is kind of an informal uh, platform for me to kind of teach and go over problems. But Really, if you truly want to learn math, what you need is great instruction. And all my courses, by the way, come with quizzes. There's all kinds of different documents. Pretty much it's everything you need to learn this material uh, completely. All right, so if you're interested, you can find all the information, discount code, all that stuff uh, in the description. Now, let's go ahead and finish up this problem. And here, uh, we're going to basically do the same thing, right? So we already figured out. Uh, this is the cash part, the bills, right? Or not? Well, the whole thing is cash, but this is the amount we needed for our uh, bills. So we took the forty dollars and we divided by four, and that of course is ten. So uh, Ken needs um, ten uh, four dollar. Uh, he needs four ten dollar bills. So for this part, this is the change. Okay, so we're going to take the thirty cents and we're going to take point three point uh, three zero and divide it by six. Now, some of you could be like, well, isn't that just 30 divided by 6? That's 5. And you could be thinking in those terms. But if you have your calculator, just take 0 0.30 divided by 6, you'll get 0 0.05, which is the decimal value of a nickel. So he needs 6 nickels. Remember, he's using the same coin, okay, where he's not using some dimes and some nickels. But uh, yes, indeed, this is not that difficult of a math problem for most of you. But you know what? If you didn't understand something here, that you should never feel bad about not understanding anything, okay? And that's, uh, you know, a good reminder uh, for those of you that still may be students, okay? There's that old adage, 
There is no such thing. Uh, no, that's no such thing. <laughs> excuse me, as a dumb question. I'm a big believer in that. If you are a student, raise your hand. Okay, do what you don't want to do is be like, hey, I think people are going to look at me if I ask this question. Now, if you don't want to ask a question in class or something, then ask a question separately to your teacher. But teachers love it when people ask questions, even if they're basic questions. Okay, so never feel that you know. Uh, you're the only one who doesn't know an answer. I can tell you, I can tell you right now from teaching many, many years that if you don't understand something and you think it's a like a dumb question, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm the only person that doesn't understand that. I can tell you, probably a third or half the classroom doesn't understand as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.